So hi hello everyone welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial we are going to see how to create an account in Earth Explorer in order to download satellite imageries. So once you have opened your browser just type in Earth Explorer Earth Explorer just give the enter and now you can find the option sign in below the Earth Explorer you can see the option sign in just click here so once the page has been loaded you can find the option sign in so if you have a username and password you can just use this option to sign in otherwise just scroll and go down here you can find the option create a new account just click here and this is the first step for creation of a user account in USGS. First we need to create our username and password. So you can see here these are the basic requirements for creation of the username. So it should be between 4 to 30 characters. It should not exceed 30 and it should not be below 4 and may contain an alphabetic and numeric character and it can have the following special letters so that is a uh, full stop at sign underscore and dash so i'm going to create a username for me right here so this is my username and we need to create a password so for creation of password they have uh, uh, given some uh, requirements so it should be between 12 and 24 characters it should not exceed 24 and it should not be below 12 characters and must contain at least one alphabetic character and it should uh, it should also have at least one numeric character and the following special characters that can be used are comma hyphen full stop pipe Bound and underscore so these are the special characters that can be used so just uh, we need to create our password here and we need to use any of this following special characters so we need to once again confirm the password here. And finally we need to select the option I am not a robot. And you can just click on the button continue. Here you can find the second option that can be seen here. So this is the second step for uh, creation of the account in Earth Explorer. So the first uh, question is in what sector do you work? So here I am going to put academic institution. This is based on my uh, expertise. So are you working on behalf of US federal agency? No. So I am working in an academic uh, institution or you can uh, select any of this following based on your current uh, sector you are working in. So the second question is which of the following characterize you as a user of remotely sensed data from USGAS. So here uh, I am an end user. So we can be a uh, research, uh, researcher or we might be studying in any institution doing projects or uh, we can be a scientist. So we are the end, we are the end users. So you can uh, select any of this based on your uh, requirements. If you can be a uh, product developer or manager, so please to select accordingly. If you are a researcher or uh, uh, working in an education institute, uh, teaching or uh, doing a projects, you can select end user. And you can also specify if you are, uh, if your specification doesn't fall, fall in, in here, you can always click the option others and specify it. So the third question is, does your work use remotely sensed data from USGS? So yes, we use the uh, remotely sensed data from USGS. 
So of your work that uses remotely sends data from USGS, what percentage is the operational and non-operational? So that is the next question. So here I am going to select, uh, I am going to just select uh, as it is or you can just go 60 to 50 to 60 percentage. The operational is defined as a continuous ongoing work that uh, either relies on a consistent availability, availability of the remotely sensed data or it is mandated or required. So if you are uh, using that is uh, routinely or just monitoring in the land use land cover change or agriculture related uh, uh, we we need to select operational work uh, for example we'll be monitoring shoreline change so for, for that we'll be requiring a continuous set of data so for that you can select the operational work otherwise it can if you are working on a one time projects that uh, requires that doesn't require uh, uh, continuous uh, data or uh, continuous monitoring in that case you can go for the non-operational otherwise you can uh, pull it back to the uh, default 50 percentage so i just prepare in the 50 percentage so next we move on to the next question what is the primary application for which you have used the remotely sensed data from usgs in past years if you have used uh, USGS in past for downloading uh, satellite imagery, for which purpose have you downloaded the uh, remotely sensed data? So in this case, I am going to use uh, education. You can select accordingly. In addition to the primary application, in what other area have you used the remotely sensed data from USGS in past? So here I am just selecting it for education. So I have done a few other things, for example, land use, land cover change, and I have a, yeah, these are the fields which I, which I had worked in earlier. So I use the remotely sensed data for this. So if you have other application, you can just put it on the below. You can just find it. You can just put it here. Uh, the next thing is that over the next year, approximately how much of remotely sensed data you acquire from USGS? will you distribute to others to use as opposed to using it yourself. So here we are not uh, distributing the data. So it is for our uh, personal use and we don't have any rights to distribute this data. So, so I am just uh, selecting none of the data because we don't have any rights to distribute the data from which we acquire from USGS. So please do select accordingly. So here I don't have any rights so that so that's why I have select none of the data. So the next question is over the next years, how important will free and open access to remotely sensed data from USGS be to connecting your work? So in my case, it is uh, somewhat important. So for you, it might be very important or uh, it might be somewhat uni important. You can just uh, select it accordingly. So I'm going to select somewhat important. And finally, hit on the button continue to contact information. So here we need to fill in the first name, last name, our organization, uh, address, city, state, email, telephone number, etc. So these are the uh, details which we are going to fill. This is the final segment. So here I just uh, use it as an example. Terra Spatial So just for example, I am typing in So we need to select our country of residence and we need to select the city sorry we need to type in our city and 
if you are living in state or province you just have to fill it up zip or pin code and we need to type in our email id here So we need to also give our alternate email ID. And finally, we need to give in our phone number. So this is just a phone number and please do do not contact to this number and uh, if you have facts you can put it otherwise you can just fill it as nil and just hit on the button save in save contact information so here finally you can verify everything what you have uh, what information you have provided you, have, you can just verify it and once you have verified the information finally just click on the option submit registration so you can see here the registration has been uh, submitted so we'll be uh, sent an email to confirm to confirm that uh, we had registered in the usgs so that uh, link will be having an expiry date expiry day of five days so the link is valid for five days we need to just click on the link and we must complete the registration process so they will be sending you an email uh, with a link you you must click on the link and we must complete the registration process so we just move back to the gmail section i just uh, refresh it once again so you can see here a mail has been uh, the mail has been come registration confirmation just click here and you can see here to complete the registration process you must click the link below to confirm and activate your account you can just check in usgs heroes customer service okay so you can see our uh, username has been given now just click on the link here okay so we must select our username what we have given if you don't remember it you can just see here and submit it so once you are submitting it the process has, uh, will be successfully completed as you can see here the user successfully confirmed finally we need to log in so after putting the uh, username and password just click the option sign in so our account has been successfully created once again just open a tab and type earth explorer you can see here earth explorer and just directly going to the website and you can find that uh, we have successfully created our uh, user account in usgs so here i am going to just uh, do some more thing I'm going to just check whether I can download some uh, some more data. For that, I need to select any of the region. So, for example, I need to uh, download a digital elevation model. So, I'm just clicking on the map so that a particular region will be highlighted. And uh, you can see here it has been came here the lat long of the position which we have placed in the ma uh, map. Now just go on to the option data sets. Here I am going to download the digital elevation data. I am just clicking it here. I am selecting SRTM and I am selecting arc SRTM 1 arc second global. Come down. Go to the option results. And you can find the data. So this is the data. So this is the data just download i'm 
just downloading in GeoTIFF format. Okay, the download has been started. You can just see here. So we have successfully created an account and we have successfully downloaded a product. So if you have any doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. I will be asking, uh, I will be answering to your questions. So thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye.